There are situations like the Prophet has to meet with the common man very regularly. If it's a woman Prophet, Islam does not allow intermingling of sexes. If the Prophet is a lady, she, and if she gets pregnant, but natural, she will not be able to do her duties for a few months. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction and this one right here, we're gonna go all the way to the religious world. So today we're gonna do uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, why are there no women prophet? I think in Islam, yeah? Uh, so guys, let's jump in and find out why are there no women prophet in Islam? Without any further ado, let's get it. Next question from the top, please. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Saima Qadri. And uh, my question is that uh, why there are no women prophets in Islam? No women prophets. So start pose the question. Why are there no women prophets in Islam? <coughs> if by prophets you mean that a person who receives the message and who acts like a leader to the people, then I can say for sure that in Islam we have got no women prophets. And I think it's right because if a woman has to be a prophet, the Quran clearly states that man is the leader of the family. So if the man is the leader in the family, how can he lead the whole people? How can a woman lead the whole people? Come to the second part. A prophet has to even lead the congregation prayers. And as I said earlier, that there are certain postures, like Qayyam Ruku Sujood, standing, bowing, and doing the Sujood prostration, which if a woman prophet does, the congregation behind will get disturbed. There are situations like the prophet has to meet with the common man very regularly. If it's a woman prophet, Islam does not allow intermingling of sexes. If the prophet is a lady, she, and if she gets pregnant, but natural, she will not be able to do her duties for a few months. If she has children, it will be difficult for her to do the duty of the mother as well as the prophet. And a man is more capable of doing the duty of the prophet and the father as compared to a woman who does the duty of a mother as well as the prophet. But if you mean that a prophet is a person who's chosen and who's pure and holy, then there are several examples. And the best example I can quote is of Bibi Maryam. May Allah be pleased with her. It is mentioned through Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 42. Why scarlet in Malaika to Yamariamu? And behold, the angel said of Mary, Inna Allah has tafaki, wa the haraki, wa stafaki and nithal alameen. That Allah has chosen thee, and purified thee, and purified above the women of all nations. If you mean a prophet is a person who is chosen and purified, then we have the example of Bibi Maryam. May Allah be pleased with her, who was the mother of Jesus, may peace be upon him. We have other examples. If you read in Surah Tahrim, chapter number 66, verse number 11, it says that as an example for the believers is the wife of the Pharaoh, Bibi Asiya. May Allah be pleased with her. She prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make for me in nearness to thee a mansion in the garden and save me from the Pharaoh and his evil things. Imagine, she was the wife of the most powerful person of that time, Pharaoh. And she rejects all the luxury and asks for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in exchange a mansion in the garden. According to Islam, there are four perfect women besides Bibi Maryam and Bibi Asya. May Allah be pleased with them. The other examples are of Bibi Fatima and Bibi Khadija, may Allah be pleased with them both. Hope that answers the question. Next question the Wow, okay. What do you think? I mean, but there were women prophet. He mentioned that, yeah? Mm-hmm. But, but four. about four. I mean, mm -hmm. but in the beginning, it threw me off. 
<laughs> when he says he was said if it's a chosen prophet, yeah, this, 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 this. If it's this yeah, type of prophet, prophet then yeah. a chosen one, then it's not a woman. It should be a man and stuff like that. That's what it meant. But anyway, I mean, even in the Bible, were there any women prophets? Probably they were. Maybe they didn't. Uh, they didn't document it. I don't know. Probably. But anyway, I mean the the the. the they didn't. Doctors are I mean they're there. Maybe they just. So maybe you just not trade. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe they're there. Doctor Zakir, I mean, uh, he made some statements which I resonate with, some I don't. Right. I resonate with, uh, I mean, the, the differences, but uh, I mean, you can't say like a woman cannot be a prophet. I mean, you cannot do. Uh, I mean, let's not. Let's not do what? Let's not uh, politicize men that much that they can do much more than women i mean also a woman can be a prophet it doesn't mean that when a woman is pregnant she can't put in duties in out there she can be pregnant and has she has her what her people who will be going out there and telling the the people how things are or something like that but anyway it's 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 going to be hard but at the end of the day the message is going to be passed on that's that's my point my point of view but i feel like I mean, there's some good points he made, and there's some points that he made that were kind of, uh, yeah. What do you think? And the beginning of the video was just. He threw me off, yeah. Me it, too. it was something else, but I am glad that he balanced it. He explained why he said whatever he yeah. said in the beginning, which, in this time and age, I don't think people will agree with that kind of reasoning. Yeah, I mean. It also depends on the listener. If you think that's how the world should be, then. I know we are in the new age now, but the thing is, in a, let's say for example, in churches you find out the pastors who are women. I don't know about Islam. I don't know Islam if there is a, a imam who's. I don't think so. There's no imam who's who's a who's a lady or sheikh. Sheikh. No, there's no. So I don't know is correct or where we going wrong but I feel like each and every religion is entitled to do what they are teaching the same probably anyway uh, any final words? I was trying to say um, it depends on whatever you want to believe in and yeah, whatever sits yeah. well with your soul yeah exactly it's really up to you at the end of, yeah, at the, end of the day is what you believe in learn from everything you hear Yes, and also observe, look at things, you know. You might find what you what you want to believe in, or something like that. Anyway, um, if you feel like you react to this video in a better way, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction. And if you want us to do more of this type of reaction, I mean more religious type of reaction, just let us know. Just go down in our comment section and we're going to do it for you guys. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing to our channel, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And uh, the most, uh, and the thing is, if you want to send us something, just go down in our description below. There's an address below down there, and uh, yeah, you can send us anything from whatever you are. We will be really happy to accept what you send us. And yeah, I mean, is that good? Yeah. So, I think we'll see you in the next video and peace out.